everyone. Welcome to week three. Um, I know some of you might still be working on the items from week two. Try to get those in as soon as possible because week three has officially begun and I'm going to go through uh, what's on the agenda for you this week. So once you take the week three attendance quiz, you'll then see everything appear in the week three module. Um, the first item you'll see under the attendance quiz is a brief review of week two. Just a little reminder of what we covered last week um, because last week was a really super important week. Uh, we covered a lot of really important information about um, basic paragraph development. Um, this week we are moving on to the fourth step in the writing process or in paragraph writing which is all about sentence sense. Alright, so you'll see a lesson on sentence sense. There's a PowerPoint um, and a video that goes along with the PowerPoint. Um, so make sure that you go through that information. It's pretty brief. And then you'll see a lesson on grammar and mechanics. And within that lesson, there are a handful of many lessons. The first one that you'll see in the grammar and mechanics lesson is a little mini lesson just on a, a review of useful words. Um, looking at uh, conjunctions, um, subordinating conjunctions, conjunctive adverbs, words that help us connect our thoughts, words that help us create more complex sentences, and also just a reminder of what happens to your sentences when we use these types of words. So that you can not only use them to express your thoughts more clearly, but also do so in a grammatically correct way. So there's a, a video, when you click on useful words for grammar and mechanics, you'll see a video, and then underneath the video is a handout that's been copied and pasted that you can look through as you're listening to the video. The next mini lesson is on sentence fragments. Um, this is a pretty important lesson. Uh, it's a pretty common error in student writing. Um, so definitely give that a look. Again, there's a video, and underneath the video, is a handout that explains what sentence fragments are, um, how to identify them, how to fix them, and then there's even some example um, problems at the bottom. Uh, and then the next item, the next mini lesson is on run-on sentences and comma splices. This is probably the most important lesson out of the whole bunch. Um, again, a video with a handout copied and pasted underneath. The next mini lesson is on eliminating ineffective writing. So this is about using, you know, making sure that you don't use cliches, making sure that you don't use what I call clutter words, which are unnecessary words, making sure that we don't have wordy phrases, figuring out a more effective and economical way of expressing our thoughts. Um, so it's a fairly easy lesson, um, but a pretty important one. So again, video and handout underneath. The next mini lesson is on modifiers. We're going to take a look at misplaced modifiers and dangling modifiers. Um, students usually can kind of latch on to the concept of misplaced modifiers pretty easily. Dangling modifiers seem to be a little more problematic. Um, students have a little harder time kind of getting that concept, so definitely make sure that you take a look at that lesson. Again, video handout pasted underneath. And then the last mini lesson is on sentence combining. So how to take um, shorter sentences um, or just sentences that are all, you know, have similar ideas, they're all discussing the same topic, and how to sort of combine those ideas into one single complex grammatically correct sentence. And again, video handout underneath. So all of those lessons um, are meant to be a review. These are grammar and mechanics concepts that you should be aware of, that you should already be familiar with coming into college. However, for some of us it's been a while, <laughs> uh, and, so, and, and maybe you know this is something that didn't get covered 
very thoroughly when you were in school. So, you know, definitely look through them. My, my suggestion would be for every single mini lesson there in the grammar and mechanics section, look at the handout that's pasted underneath the video. Look through the handout. If the information is clicking with you, it's making sense and you're like, oh yeah, I, I remember this stuff, you know, um, then you might not need to watch the video. But if there's any of the handouts that you're reading through and you're like, I, I don't get it. This is, this is confusing. I'm not sure what this is all about. Then you might want to go ahead and watch the video for that particular lesson. Um, and again, the two that I think students really need um, to pay the most attention to is the lesson on run-on sentences and comma splices because most students don't even know what a comma splice is, but it's the most common error in writing. And then the one on modifiers, just because again, that section on dangling modifiers can get a little tricky sometimes. So, but again, you know, read through the handouts for each lesson. If it's making sense to you and you seem to be catching on pretty quickly, then you might not need to watch the video, but the videos are certainly there if you want a little more um, explanation and to hear me actually go through it and you know talk about the finer points of each of these grammar issues all right and then of course the homework for this week you um, have a couple of chapters there listed to review again it's just a review a little bit more of a supplement to the the handouts and videos you have journal three there's a video in the instructions make sure you watch that video and then complete the journal by Sunday night and then you have week three, assignment one, which is on sentence fragments and run on sentences and comma splices. So there'll be a video in those instructions and you'll need to have that submitted by Sunday night at 11.59. Week three, assignment two is on revising for style. So that assignment is gonna sort of cover the ineffective writing, modifiers, and sentence combining lessons. Um, there's a video in the instructions and it's due Sunday at 11.59. And then of course we have the week three discussion. There'll be a video in the instructions where the prompt is located. Try to have your first post up by Thursday night and don't forget to respond to two classmates before the discussion closes Sunday night at 11.59. Remember, once that discussion closes Sunday night, it can't be reopened and you don't wanna lose out on those easy points. Other items can be submitted late if needed, but make sure you get that discussion completed on time. All right, so that is it for week three. Um, if you have any questions or run into any problems, please let me know. Reach out right away. Um, otherwise, you're free to go ahead and get started.